let's talk a little bit about artificial neural networks. Uh, for those who don't know, this is not a new technology. Um, in fact, it dates back to the 40s and 50s when uh, the first models for neural networks have been created. Now, they didn't catch up though until much later because running uh, complex models requires exten extensive computational power. Uh, and also to efficiently train a model you need relatively large data sets. Now if you're interested in the history and how uh, this field developed, the Wikipedia of artificial neural networks is probably a um, good way to start. And I'll link to it in the description. Now in short, an artificial neural network is made up um, of uh, artificial neurons um, and uh, the basic goal of a neural network is to solve problems like a human brain. Now these neurons um, are stacked in layers the same as in this illustration. Uh, so we have the input layer where our data goes in, the hidden layer or hidden layers um, and then the output layer. Now, this is probably the most basic form of an ANN. Um, the number of hidden layers differentiates between shallow and deep neural networks. So, a deep neural network is comprised of multiple hidden layers, and that is the case for deep learning, which we'll probably go into in another tutorial series. Now, same as uh, other forms of machine learning, ANNs can be used for supervised and unsupervised learning and for tasks like uh, speech recognition, computer vision, medical diagnosis, uh, recommender systems, uh, and many more. You can think of uh, the recommender system behind uh, Amazon's uh, engine. Um, now the data that's going to go in for these tasks can be different in terms of its type so you could have like text data imaging data voice data and so on and so forth uh, but ultimately it has to be numerical before uh, feeding it to the neural network so this involves uh, some kind of pre-processing now how does a typical training look like? Let's say for a tasks uh, for a task of classification. So first, you'd need uh, your training data, that is your data set, which is labeled. Uh, so we're talking about supervised learning. Uh, you'd convert it to numerical data, and then you'd feed it to your neural network. And here's the important thing: each neuron will act like a function. Uh, which you decide upon uh, when, you, uh, when you model the network. And the goal of the training uh, of uh, the neural network is to get below a certain error rate. So the goal is to minimize error. Now this error rate is basically the difference between the value uh, or the uh, output predicted by the network and the actual output, which is the label. Um, it usually starts with larger error rates, so the training process starts with larger error rates and it adjusts itself uh, during training to reduce or to minimize this error rate. Uh, now I also discussed and exemplified a neural network model in another video series which I'll link to in the description. So there are like five or six videos on neural networks uh, with the scikit-learn library. So I won't go into further details here uh, because I could spend hours just talking about the theory behind these models, but let's rather start getting practical. So um, in the next video, we're going to build a perceptron based classifier, which is one of the simplest neural network architectures. Now, please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.